So Ian got apprehended. Congratulations. The fruit is here. No, no, no. I got, brother, king of the road, brother. They gave me king of the road, brother. They gave me a king of the road fine. I was like, come. I was like, they were like, well, I'm finding you king of the road. I was like, I'll take it, brother. I'll Ian take it. He was driving five minutes and he got fined. I said, Ian, don't. Oh, you turn here. Don't you, you don't turn, turn here, here. Ian. And don't like, you turn here. And he was like, watch me. Well, I watched him and then the guy was waving. He stop, sir, stop. And there yeah, you go. So we got fine, bruh. So it was only a thousand I got fine. Were you like, Koya? I'm sorry, Koya. My boyfriend's Western, Koya. He's from you? Australia, Koya. How would I say that? He doesn't like adobo, Koya. Koya, please. I'm from Lipa City, Koya. I'm from the mountains as well, Koya. I was born in the mango tree, Koya. We're in Baguio, leaving Baguio. We're here for maybe an hour. And Ian hates it, so. I hate it because it's like a Brazilian favela on the side of a mountain, mate. Look at these people everywhere. And it's Cats. all like, it's all constant hills, bro. It's on a constant hill. And you get a, you can feel the altitude. I was like, ah, I want to go lift some weights, but I don't want to lift weights at altitude. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to lift weights on altitude. Like, so when you lift, do the power cleans go to the gym altitude, it sucks. Mate, that little girl doesn't miss me, does she? Rude. Uh, not true. Mum loves her. Oh, yeah, mum loves a bit too much, mate. Where did you pay the fine on the street? Or where did you no, pay the, the police station. Uh, you have to go to the cashier and then What did they, they say? They were they like, you were you like, Koya, I'm sorry, Koya. I'm I'd sorry, Koya. Were you like, Koya, I'm kind of rich, bro. Why would I be sorry? It's, it's were you like, Koya, I'm kind of rich, bro. I just drive my car on Fridays. Well, That's the I, way it is. You're the one who was a friend and not me. Were you like, Koya. Kuya, I'm sorry, Kuya. I I'm from stopped. Lipa City, Kuya. It's here. mountains, Kuya. I drove here. I drove all the way here. Didn't get stopped. You drove because oh, you weren't in money bagging Grabio. You weren't in. You weren't in um, money bagging. I drove. I drove in the thing. Love. You weren't in, in money city. bagging Grabby. Uh, look, these are. Uh, uh, listen, these guys are, are in the back of the thing, sound like this, and they're fighting me for turning on a thing. Come on, mate. Relax, brother. Relax. Bro, so all you zesty dorks going, Baguio, Baguio, Baguio is bloody, it's like a favela, mate, like a Brazilian slum built on the side of a hill. Relax, bro, or you're not staying in Baguio. It's like, Ugh. it's not that, bro. It's just, it's not a good place. So, and the mayor's like, oh, let's make some money. That Friday thing's complete. Like, you buy a car, mate, where you don't go to work on Friday, you can't so that's buy what, groceries there's on Friday. Too many cars in the Philippines. That's stupid. That's it's stupid. They, that's how they 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 make. Because if everyone can drive anytime they want, then there's gonna be a hell of a traffic. There's gonna that's be a hell of a traffic they, anyway, bro. No, that's how they prevent the you know the, oh, still the number of cars. Yeah, of course. So it's crazy. Anyway, look, um, you know, in um, in um, in Boracay. You can only go there if your car is white. You can't go on the island if your car. So it's just stupid rules, bro. It's just stupid rules. It's not true. Come on, mate. It's just stupid rules. Yeah, yeah. You can only go on the borough car if your car is white. We can't go there with some car. Check the view out, bro. Check the view. Check it out. Favela on the side of a hill, bro. This is like a little Ewok city, bro. You know the Ewoks? Got fined for one. We're driving on Friday. You're not allowed to drive on Friday in Bagyal with our license plate. And number two, I did a U-turn on a uh, zebra crossing, and that was a thousand peso fine. That was like a uh, thirty dollar fine. I didn't even know. I've never heard of that. You can U-turn on zebra crossing as long as they're free in my country. So this is my first I've heard of it. So there you go. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Go pro. Bro, trying to sell me a USB cable. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we're paying our fine. It's forty bucks, mate. Listen. So $40 fine is nothing to me, bro. Check this out. It was quite a zesty experience, but. There you go, it's $1,500. So she's like, $1,500. I was like, ha ha. 
There's no white guy tax. I can get out now. Now it's been fine. So it's all done. Look at the tiger, the tiger, the tiger. Welcome. That's actually a lion, but okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where's the tiger? I can only see a lion. Look at the igorots. The what? The igorots. You see those squash here? She's like, the tiger, the tiger. I'm like, where? I can only see a lion. That's not really the problem. Look, 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 look. You can bring a squash. If you want to be a dork, you can ask questions if you want to be a dork. Tiger. Where are the Korean tourists? Oh, just oh. go down a year, bruh. Check it out, bro. That's the city of Baguio. We're getting apprehended. Ian's one of them. Nah, I got apprehended. King of the road, brother. Ian's lucky. That my find is literally called King of the Road. Because I did a U-turn on a um on a pedestrian crossing. And then, then we got fined. Yeah, they're out there. Find him, find him, bros, man. So it was a thousand for the. I got a find a thousand for. Um, King of the road. What's that? King of the road. King of the road. So a thousand for the U-turn on the pedestrian crossing. Which I didn't even know you couldn't do that. I, I didn't even. I just screwed it. It's illegal King in Australia of the road as well. Is when you don't follow the rules. And then I got fined again. Stop, stop, stop. Because we're not supposed to drive on Friday. But I'm like, bah, right, bah. Right. I'm paying that fine every day, right? I just, I, don't, I just ignore that. So I just drive every Friday and pay the 500 pesos. I see it like a fee to okay, drive. Love, love, you have to focus yeah. on your driving, love. Come on. There's, Focusing there's on my YouTubing, brother. Like and subscribe, brother. Listen, listen, listen. It's not listen. funny. It's my so, car. I'm having, I don't want to have a problem with this. Wow. Like when I re renew my car, they see the fines. Like, come on, man. Yeah, well, we're driving on Fridays, but what do you want? Well, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. Traditional Filipino dancing in a clean. Mm. So, brother, listen, Bagyao is like the favela, brother. It's like a favela. It's all, it's all, it's all built on a hill, all packed, crammed together. Place is shithole, right? And the, plus, added to that, there's cops everywhere, money grabbing, trying to find everyone for every little thing. By every little thing, I did uh, do a U-turn on a pedestrian crossing, but <laughs> my fault. But not driving your car on Fridays. What a load of bullshit. What a load of bullshit. Because people who have money like me, we will drive our car every Friday. It's just 500 pesos. That's what, that's like $15, mate. It's just nothing, mate. It's just, yeah, so yeah. people are just gonna keep driving it. It's just, you know who's not gonna be able to drive? The Shit, poor, man. the poor, bro, the poor. Yeah. So the only people you're punishing are the poor because the rich can afford to do it. And there's no like point fine like in Australia. They don't get a point fine. So we can just afford to keep doing it, bro. We can just keep doing it. We can just do it every Friday. You can find me every Friday. You only find me once a Friday, but I can pay you every Friday, 500 pesos, not a problem. So, police. One stripe, brother. Just another 20 years, you'll have three stripes, bro. You'll have three stripes, bro. Three stripes, bro. I'll have three stripes in 20 years. All right. Worshipping the traffic fines. They were worshipping. They're like, please, God, bring the white man here. So we can traffic find them. This is Baguio, bro. Yeah. Okay, brothers, here we are. We're leaving Baguio. This is Baguio. Well, Baguio is up that mountain over there, right? So we're going down. Look, brother, listen. Baguio was like favela, just packed together. I was like, yeah, I'll take a pass, bro. I'll take a pass, bro. On Baguio. It was just too, too crammed and it felt a bit unstable. But I, just, I said, Jessica, mate, is he, do these buildings fall down? She goes, Oh, yeah, these buildings fall down all the time. There's a typhoon or earthquake. I was like, Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm just gonna go to. We, we passed this place called the surfing capital of um, the Philippines. I was like, Bro, from Australia, bro. Well, let's go to the surfing capital of the Philippines. I know, I felt like the altitude as well. I felt the altitude. Anyway, that's it. Jessica's driving. She's like, oh, I want to drive because I'm um, feel a bit car sick. It feels, feels like she's on a roller coaster. Anyway, it's all good. Yeah, that 500 peso parking, car okay. park Fridays, 500 pesos. That's really a tax on the poor, mate, because the rich, 
mate, the rich can afford to pay it. Trust me, let's pay it, bro. Like, 500 pesos is, how much is that, Jess? How much 500 pesos? Uh, That's under 20 bucks, bro. Like, say, like, so, listen, do you think I'm not gonna be like, oh, I can't afford $17. I'm Do not gonna drive my car today. Yeah, would you think I'm gonna be like, oh, bro, I, I can't, I won't be able to afford $17. And there's no points in your license. You can just pay $17 every, uh, every, every Saturday. Just every, every Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So we got blacked out windows. Jess is going out to get some strawberries and mangoes, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, I don't come out, don't come out till I've secured the prices. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go, bro. She went and paid a fine on her own as well with the cops. She's like, you know, I'm gonna pay the fine on my own with the cops, just trust me. I was like, fair enough. Not saying there's corruption in the Philippines or insinuating I would be charged more as a Westerner. Not doing that, but you know, check out the mountains. Yeah, so we're heading to Zhang Xuan. He's in his leather jacket, check it out. And he's got a, uh, a VGS turbo bra, 2.5 bra, truck bra. So you should probably watch Happy Days one too many times. Bro, thinks he's the Fonz. Check it out. Black, I'm, like, I'm gonna get in my black truck, put on my black leather jacket, and the bitches are gonna think I'm the shit, bro. So that's probably what he thought this morning. Yeah, yeah, 150. This is the uh, what's that? There's a lot of peanuts. See, peanut Oh, yeah, that's good. Get whatever you want, love. Check it out. What's this? What's this, love? Jam, strawberry, strawberry jam's a hundred, love. That'd be good jam, right? From Baguio, is that Baguio strawberry jam? What's that? Yeah, I'm easy, whatever. I want to complain to management about the headspace. Hey, can I complain about the headspace? I don't feel you've taken into account my headspace. See that? I want to complain to management. Hey. I don't, I don't feel they take into account my headspace, bro. Check it out. I want to form a complaint to management, mate. Hey, these are strawberries. 150, not bad. Welcome to. Bring it, bring it, love. It's it's like you. You want to stop here? Yeah, no, not really. Not necessary. Beach, brother. In your Toyota Fortuna, brother. Poor man's Land Cruiser. Wow, look at these. We're in Baguio, love. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I feel so excited I'm in Baguio. Get me some strawberries. Yeah. Look at the art, look at the art. That's some Aboriginal art. Look, the, the, uh, the river is dried. Check out the rivers. That's rude. Well, what are you saying, love? What are you, you saying? You can come out when the transaction's been like, approved. So, check the water out. This is the river. So, so Jessica, when Jessica negotiates with locals, she makes me hide in the car. Uh, every, that's every Filipino uh, technique they think a foreigner. Yeah. Like yeah. See, so many fruits. The fruits here are very cheap, love. So, and then they Jessica, Jessica basically, on YouTube, they get really mad at her. They're like, I wouldn't be with a girl who, who makes me hide in the car. Oh, brother, you'll be paying a lot more for fruit, that's for sure. It's just a strategy, man. Just a strategy, bruh. Don't get upset. Yeah, don't get butt hurt, bruh. Don't get butt hurt in California, bruh. Save us some bucks, mate. With your taxes, so your government can seem that they're using pronouns and they're environmentally friendly California jeez man. Get, get. you think yeah. you take a video of that big get sign sign or no oh maybe there you go
is that is that dig? Forty <laughs> kilometers. Ooh, police soldiers. It's the pigs, bro. It's the pigs, the bacon, bro. They call them crocodiles. They call them crocodiles because they're snapping at you for money. But we call them pigs in England because they're always well, sniffing around. A pig's bar. That's the mountain. We're climbing up the mountain. You see the mountain that you were looking at? On the yeah. Way, uh, isn't it? Is he famous? The guy that's advertising top breed? Yeah, he's a vet. He's a, he looks a bit zesty. Let's get a show. She says, well, should she stop here, love? Why? Oh, right. food? It's the food, though. I don't want something sweet. Well, this is kind of nice here, right? So when they say the mountains, they legit mean the mountains, bro. Check this out. Mm -hmm. still the the I'm in the mountains with my they, mountain girl. They put a road up there. Actually my mountain there. girl who was born in a mango tree. It is true, love. You just don't like me saying it. Uh, you born in a mango tree, bro. Spanian bro, she's going full Spanian. Oh. Spanian's a Australian influencer, former, you know, prison gangster, like stabber. Wouldn't say murder, I don't think he murdered anyone, but drug dealer. Yeah. Stop, slow, down. All right, you can go. You can count the floor. She go down there, don't chip us over the edge, like, I don't think we'll survive. Relax, we'll be fine. I've been driving that. for a year, love. And you have eight accidents under your belt, love. Yeah, you have eight accidents under your belt. Yeah. It's driving for you. She's got eight accidents under her belt. You gave me whiplash last week. So. What do you call the world? There are. Check out the river. Check out the river. Uh, if, it's a, if there's a sentence like, there are things in, in front of me, like, what's the word? What are you talking about, mate? There are, like, challenges on in front of me. It's not challenge, but. Goals. No love. Come on, man. Oh, but, man. Um, Obstacles. Yes. There it is. Obstacle course. <laughs> yes. Obstacles bar. Obstacles. Obstacles. That's what it is. Why are the roads it look so silky and it's like I'm gonna, the car's gonna slip. It's the asphalt, love. So like there's no friction at all. Yeah. It's the asphalt. Just go slow around the corners. So we're going to Bagyal. This is a bit mountainy, bruh. This is kind of mountainy, bruh. We're literally climbing a mountain. Hopefully, my car won't break. Super down. safe. He's changing the tire on the side. Oh, check out the waterfall, bruh. Mini waterfall. Look at that. 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 These are the Blue Mountains in Australia. Kutumba. Kutumba, bruh. This has been the Blue Mountains, actually. It's hectic, bruh. Hectic, brother. Jessica started speaking like Spanian. Say bad words, Ian. Yeah, I'm trying to use your sayings, Ian. Yeah, 
make you curse you look so from a French man. I say excuse my French man. Yes. I don't say sorry. Sorry's a bit cocky, bro. You sound sorry. So I say excuse my it's French. Not French of course I know it's not French. Listen, I try not Go to say sorry. Mango is love. Mango heaven. You have to stop somewhere. Yeah, okay. I just missed that place. So I try to say, I try not to say sorry. I try to say forgive me or excuse me, right? I'm going to counterflower. Counterflower. That means he's on the wrong side of the road. Oh, only old ladies look at Facebook, love. Only old ladies look at Facebook, love. Well, there's so many people. If they slow shame, down, love. Slow down. You're going to They want to shame people who, who, who park crooked. They post it on Facebook. Oh, look at this lady. Must be, must have a... Brother, that, you know what we call that in Australia? A badge of honour. We be sending that to our mates. Like, hey, I made it onto the Facebook granny post, mate. You know what I mean? That would be a badge of honour in Australia. Jessica was born in a mango tree. Mangoes are like her superpower. No one says she's born in a mango yeah, tree. Yeah, I'm half mango. Half she was tea. she was born in a tree house in a mango tree, not in a mango. She was actually true. born in a tree. It is true, mate. It true. is true. That is your assumption. Well, you told it to me. You told no, me. I said we had a house in a mango tree when you were born, yeah, and you were not born in the house. But he said, I said, I don't know how we like. Uh, you don't want to just think cool she gave birth to me never ask questions you never said where was I born no or well, maybe you did you found you're born in a mango kids. tree well Joe was born in hospital of all the sisters and the siblings it's Joe and Jeff who was born in the hospital they're oh. the expensive kids brother you were born at home in the mango her tree home, right her home was just mango just like a cabbage patch doll but in a mango all grown up so if you want to know what a cabbage patch doll, this is a mango patch doll. Uh, all grown up. Oh my god, you have five more minutes. Oh look, look at this! Oh, oh girl! So, 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 so. What do you call this? this Shrek. It's blue. It's blue. The Avatar. And then the other one, the big one. The uh, Avatar. Shrek. No, the other one, the big girl. Uh, that's... So pretty. Where are we, brother? Where have you taken me, love? Baggy out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, baggy out. We do spit in this place, out, bro. We're still, um, we're still not working on this place. Oh, look at that, love. There's a falls on top of the thing. Is this a one-way road? There is now. Oh, my bloody God. Oh, check that out. That's just... Oh, I, I, I won't be driving you during the night, mate. No. This is like a big hole going on because of this, right? There, there's no street light. Thank you. Oh, big hole is crazier than this. Oh, can you see the full stuff in between the... I don't think it's full. I think it's just a rock formation. Older? It looks like it's just a rock formation, though. So they have these things so the rocks fall, because rocks fall down, so they have to put these things up there. When you date a mountain girl, you find these things out, bro. Word for word. You cannot lose your eye on the road. Well, you mean like if you've got a glass eye and it falls out on the road? No, I mean, you can't, you know, you cannot. You mean you need to keep your eyes on the road? Yeah, you can't lose your eye. 
So she means you need to keep your eyes on the road. Not lose your eye, like as in, there's an impact and your eye falls out on the road. It's so like a double meaning word, relax. It's an entendre. You, too, you use Grammarly too much. It's a double entendre, love. You use Grammarly too much. Forget well, check out the saint, bruh. Is that a saint or a Buddha, or what is it? It's Mama Mary. Mama Mary, brother. Ten Commandments, they got Ten Commandments. It says, Oh, I, whoa, look at these drive. It says, I will not criticize Adobo, the Eleventh Commandment. <laughs> I will not. So, we're talking about Ten Commandments. The Eleventh Commandment of the Philippines is, I will not criticize Adobo or say it tastes too vinegary. We love Adobo no matter what. No, we love Adobo no matter what. Eleventh Commandment, mate. Listeners who rave about Baguio, they're like, oh, Baguio, 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 this, Baguio, that. They absolutely love the place, man. Yeah. But they're all like pale skinned little vampire types. They're cool, they don't like the heat. I like Mindanao, bruh. That's full hot, you know? Fully hot, bruh. Just that's true. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, so. God bless. God bless. I'm from the Philippines. I love to sing in it to Dobo. I love not being xenophobic, but it's true, right? I didn't get a lot of hate for saying that, bro. That was cringe. That was just joking cringe, okay? Relax. Let's go to the mountains. The river thing. Listen, bro, I don't think you're 4'11", bro. I, I looked, you were like 4'7". Ian, I don't even think you're 6'6". Okay, well, I'm not 4'11". Four, four you're trying to hurt my 4'11 feelings. Ha 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 but lovey, I didn't look like 4'11 and then I was like, oh, stand next to it. I was ready to stand next to the thing. You were like, nah, I'm not standing next to it. I don't believe the thing you believe me and your fiance. Oh, okay, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. Please. Whoa, check that out. Filipino food, I mean butter chicken, right? Or pizza. <laughs> what did you say, love? What did you say? Returning you to the mountains. You said I'm the monkey and then you're returning me to my yeah. monkey parents. That's rude. Oh, look, Are you saying I'm a monkey because my mum was born in Kenya? Say that. Did That's rude. That? That's rude. Very rude. That? Very rude. Look at Purple. This place. So we we're literally coiling up the mountain. That's why we're going round in circles. We're coiling up the mountain. So Baguio is, must be on this mountain, like on the mountaintop. Yeah, that's why it's very cool. Got it. Right, so we're going up a mountain. Okay, it makes sense now. Mad Max, uh, Chris Hemsworth, who plays Thor, he's a bad guy and he's got like all this cosmetic makeup, so it looks ugly uh, on it, right? Oh, look, look so many onions and garlicky stuff. So they also had, as well as onions, they also had onions, love. <laughs> I said onions. He said onions. I didn't say that. So you said, look, love, so many onions and garlicky stuff. <laughs> I don't sound like that, Ian. I don't sound like that, Ian. Such an asshole. How rude. Such an asshole. It's pretty, pretty. Oh, didn't we come across this bridge before? No. Slow down. That's 44 minutes of going up the mountain, bro. Check this dude out on top of the jitney, bro. Like Spider-Man, brother. He's dressed in Spider-Man colors, mate. Look, can you open the window and see if it's really cold? 
gonna be like that movie, you know, 2012, where the, the world freezes and you stick your hand out and it turns into Relax, ice. Mate. Relax, brother. We're still in the Philippines, brother. Heading into Japan, though. We're close to Japan. Look at this little town. Lord Angelos. Oh, there's some firewood. Firewood? Are you, are you mocking my accent? Thank you, mate. I think I know. Wow, right, check out, bro. What's he doing? Special. Waiting for the bus, bro. Special. Is he? Uh, it takes one to know one, right? <laughs> What's that? What a comedian. Yeah, sorry, love. It was low hanging fruit. I'm bloody gonna get some dried fish. I love dried fish. Of course she won't, brother. Young with veggies. Check it out, bro. Check out the view. Yeah, I'm saying to get back from here to Jessica's house, it's going to cost us $50 in tolls. It's the police, bro. The police. The Someone call the police. They're, they're very known with uh, selling fresh fruits and vegetables here. Oh. Because it's cold, right? They sell like a sack of veggies for like a hundred pesos. Wow. It's crazy. Should load up on the veggies, bro. You should. I love veggies, they're yummy. Orange Bridge. Looks like an American bridge. Stay outside. Uh -huh. So that's a Well, he's gonna go fast, wasn't he? That is Billy Goat Country, bro. This is Billy Goat Country. Oh, look at that bad boy start on the bike, bro. Bikey. Bikey, bro. I'm not saying they did go over, but they've got tape bikes on one over. Well, oh, check these houses out. Oh, look at these houses. Uh, imagine living here, bro. Oof. The people have died, like, going off the edge. The Filipinos don't just put things like this up, right? They, um... But a lot of people have to die. Pass an exam, a board exam or something like they they, they put your the yeah they make a tarp they put your face on the uh, tarp top on. Oh, wow. Check this out. Slide out, left slide out. This is pretty cool, this place is pretty cool, right? I'm, I'm glad we did this drive. Yeah, I haven't passed. Great mining. I was a bit thinner, bro. I was a bit thinner, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, no, I, I like it. It's, it's very, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's a lot of fun, mate. It's not easy. No, but it is fun. I did the training like in the indoor centers and I free climbed. I love free climbing, dude. I usually free climb without a harness because I'm a bit crazy. But that, that's probably, 
you know, I put this weight on, but you know, I love it. I really love it. That was an animal quarantine checkpoint. That's 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 where I'm approaching. But we're still half an hour away from Baggy. We have yeah. S in Baggy here, look. Really? Mm. I can feel like my sinuses that I'm in the mountains, can you or not? We have to blow. Jeez, it must be high if we're having a like you can feel it my nose. A little bit light headed. Oh, here we go, time to get started. So she was smart. Right? Oh, so here we are. She was smart, she was selling mangoes here, mate. You know what I mean? Can you fill in your nose or not? Yeah, I put your thing up top. Hmm, what else you got? Do you get peanuts for you? Oh, you feel a little bit of a dizzy like twinge or not? Not really. Because you were born in the mountain, in I a tree, in I'm a mountain. I'm driving, tree. if I'm sitting there and it's like this and that, I'll be dizzy, yeah. but I'm driving, so. With your brother. Different. With your brother, I'm with ya. Jimmy says, go daddy, bruh. This guy takes this very seriously, bruh. Go daddy's not my website, it's where I buy my URL. My porn site is godaddy.net. Because it sounds, <laughs> sounds a bit like sexual stuff. Only if, you got, only if you're like a weirdo, love. Only if you're a weirdo. I think godaddy sounds like godaddy. I don't I don't think of daddy as porn. But anyway, I'm not Jessica. Jessica's got some weird thing in her head. Look at the chippy. Somewhere. But They've got a Mercedes symbol. It's like a Madden. Brother, for sure that's on a Mercedes, right? Relax with a Mercedes symbol. What's with the green on the... Um... Like if I'm from here and then I need an ambulance, I'll die before you even come down to the Why? hospital. Because it's so far away. But I would just... Uh, they should uh, have a zip line here. Yeah. Well, when I was, you know, squirrel suits where you jump off the mountain and you yeah. just squirrel scoot down like for Mission All Hospital. All the way down for it. Oh, Alright, bruh. Here we go, bruh. Racing time, bruh. You beat him and say thank you, bruh. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. bumpy. Wow, see the work safety. He's in his socks and flip flops. You know how much they're getting paid? Not much. Yeah, not much. Oh, look at these houses. Well, this is like. They have the hardest yeah. job ever and they're not even getting paid. Nah, won't they be getting three, five hundred pounds today? Yeah. Probably, probably 200. If it's probably right? 340. 340? Yeah. So that's about, that's like, uh, it's just over $10 a day. They actually put it up a bit. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 10 pesos. But love, listen, they put it up. All, not everyone pays that rate. People still work for 200 pesos a day here. You the government can say, oh, you yeah, minimum well, wage, minimum wage. They shouldn't. And in Pompanga, what they do it's is they go, okay, enough. so it's, it's, it's 250 a day or five, 300 a day or 400 a day. They used to make you work 12 hour days, bro. That's what they do. Very expensive now. What for it's minimum expensive. wage? Yeah, and all the food and everything you buy in this from the store are very expensive. You know, it'd be hard to survive, nowadays. bro. Check it out. Come on, watch it. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, 
loads. You want to see loads of foreigners here. All the zesty non-sex tourist ones come here. All the zesty, you know, like the barely. Ooh. So you're saying you're non-sex non, non tourist now? Bro, I'm just going to have a look on the staying here. Are you changing? No, not changing. No. I'm going back. Six tourists. You're a six tourist, bro. I'm a toy boy. You're older than me. You're 50. Look at this. Look at this, brother. What about that guy in this comments that said, because we're negotiating cows in the Kenya for this, you know, they say, oh, we don't, you don't, we don't sell girls. Well, what do you call it when you give it cows and you get a girl? That, Pretty sure that's selling girls, but anyway. Trading. Trading, right? Anyway, um it's so Arthur. Yeah. So this guy put Jessica's Boy. worth a hundred cows. Are you worth a hundred cows, Jessica? And they said Ian said I'm not even worth half a cow. Yeah. Ninety nine for the attitude, but like she's definitely worth a hundred, but then because of a tempo you take off minus ninety nine, you know what I mean? And a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, love, I'd, I'd give you a hundred cows, a thousand cows, right? In the Philippines before, you have to work in the ladies' So, I'm lucky I didn't have to work around the house and cut the woods, right? Cut wood, yeah. cut wood love. Cut wood. You don't cut help, woods. You help, help the dad yeah. around the house. Well, I help the dad keep you in control, mate. Water. That's a full-time job. Carry your water, brother. Relax. We've got taps, brother. We've no, got taps, brother. Like, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, you know, when I met you, and you know, I was like, listen, bro, we're not doing the whole... We're not doing the whole, like, I have to prove myself thing Welcome to you. Welcome to Baguio City. Yeah, the capital. I just can't. It's just the not. The summer capital yeah. of the Philippines. How is that summer capital? Yeah, because no one wants to bloody come here in the winter because it's freezing, mate. The So I'll tell you a movie that changed my life was Jim Carrey, Yes Man, where he just says yes to everything. Yes, yes, yes. Because I used to just, like, be like, no, 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 I'm just working and studying and no, 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 no. no. Right? And now, I'd say pretty much yes to everything. Whoa. My mom. Yeah. You are now entering small precinct. Really? Really? Where do I go? Let's go to the mountains, bro. Jeez, more mountains. Jeez. Thousand Islands as far as I've been. I haven't been any further than Thousand Islands. Or oh, Hundred Islands. Sorry, Hundred Islands. I haven't been past Hundred Islands. What's in Ilocano? People who lives in Ilocano. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should go there. Yeah. It's very nice. You should get a mountains. Mate, it's been a beautiful drive. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful drive. Beautiful girl. Bolero is like a rolling ball. It means that you're a rolling ball. Like you always, it means you're basically bull, S H I T, right? Because you're a rolling ball. So they call it bolero. You, like you roll a ball, you charming, but you're like a charming, like a rolling ball, you know? That doesn't make much sense, but if you hear in Tagalog, it makes sense, right? Man, what a beautiful view, eh? If you'd known it was so beautiful, would you have come out here or not? Yeah. No, I mean come earlier in your life, not earlier in the day, uh, mate. Re relax, brother. I mean earlier in your life, not earlier today. If you know it's so beautiful, would you come earlier? Yeah, I would have left at 8 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. I mean earlier, like a year earlier or two years earlier. Two years earlier, I don't have a car. Oh, well, I'm going to come then. I hired a car last time I came up here. I just hired a car.
a massive river on Google Maps. So that's a massive river on Google Maps, but it's dry. No, we left Angie City. Is bro, listen, like we're a couple, mate. We're not drinking and banging ladies on the night. You know what I mean? Going to those clubs. So, like, you know, we walk around to the gym, and I was filming my way to the gym. Everyone, everyone's a bit stroppy. You know, it's like, ah, you know, it's like lady boys screaming their pronouns at you. Uh, you know, if I wanted that, I'd go to America, mate. If I wanted to experience that kind of thing, I'd go to America. So, I just want to just get out, man. Let's just go somewhere with no pronouns, which hopefully is back out. Right, love? What are your pronouns, love? We're in La Union now. I'm a she, her. Uh, is it she, her? Or <laughs> she. Uh, you can call me whatever, bro. I don't, I'm not too worried. All right, here we go. That's toll, bro. Get your money out, bro. Get your money out, bro. Toll time. Right, you two can be extorted. What does it say, love? What's she She says she's loaded our toll. She's loaded us. I'm skeptical, bro. I'm skeptical she loaded it, but I've got her on camera. If she didn't load it, I'm gonna I'm sending that footage to the cops, right? If she just pocketed the money. I'm not saying she did, but it's possible, right? Because our receipt just says 500 given to her. Um, so we'll see if she loaded it or not. How do, how will we know if she's loaded it, love? How will she we said know? it's if we go into one of those things again, it will pop in the thing how much balance we have. But you have to understand, money's better in our hand than it is in their hands, right? So it's the time value of money, love. We never want money in their hands, we want it in our hands, right? So it's the rule 101 of business, time value of money. Uh, Jessica works at the most bougie golf course, right? Check this out. And she works at the most bougie golf course in the country, right? And she's like, I've got this player, he's a pastor, he's very rich. Of course he is, but because God pays well, mate. God pays well, you know what I mean? Like, you got those little plebs tithing that 10%, right? And then he just takes his cut, mate. Like he does his charity work yeah. after he so buys I'll his Ford him. Ranger yeah. and so I'll help blah blah. Sometimes I'll bring his, I will help him to bring his stuff because, like he's a big guy, he's kind of like, yeah. hard, he's not very mobile. Yeah. Yeah. And, then I'll, and then he will open his car and I will see like a bunch of monies on his dashboard. Yeah. Like, ah. That tithing money, brah. That tithing money. You know, that's how it keeps Benny, the, Benny Hinn in. Um, in his private jets, bro. That tithing money, you know what I mean? Yes, church here. Yeah, and all the little Filipinos, oh, give a 10% to God. And I'm sure he gives a big service on why you've got to add your 10% to God, the little bit of charity work they do, and then the rest they just put it in the pocket, mate. He said that his church was burned a few years ago, and then this guy just gave him the money to reveal. Yeah. How good is that? Nothing's easier money than tithing money, bro. It's pastors. I like the casino, mate. Love, the house always wins. Love, you click my thing, what are you doing? Sorry. The house always wins, brother. Pastors are like the casino, brother. The house always wins, you know what I mean? So uh, they always take their 10% tire, and their big cars, and Love. fancy boats, and you know, blah, blah, blah. Check this place out. This is Godspeed. Green Lone Yard. Whoa, love. Godspeed, brother. I 
to check this out. It's dry, it must be a drought, love. There's no river, there's no river. It's meant to be a massive river. Uh, the riverbed's dried up, it's nearly completely dried up. Wow. Check it. scammer bro you get into the church you get into the pastorship you're a scammer like it's just uh dude that's the best place to be bro for scammers right if they get money you can just you know take you don't even need to scam it bro you just take as a salary big salary or you say oh i'm an executive yeah, i'm an executive plans. you know i'm an executive like when i went to like people would say oh you know executives get paid big money why should people in the church get paid big money that's what i used to say oh god uh, makes me want to vomit, mate. Makes me want to vomit, He's mate. He's got a massive house in a subdivision. Yeah, of course he does, mate. Of course he does. And all the little Filipinos and the truck drivers tithing that 10%, brother. Tithing that 10%. He oh. can afford to go to the hospital like every week because he's got surgeries and stuff. Because he tells me everything is a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah pastors, bro. Pastors. He tells me like, like, I tell you, things are. The things that make me want to vomit, mate, are pastors that take money from like the poor and they just use it on the fair. Like, like, um, uh, Benny Hinn, mate, like, he takes money, like, crazy money, dude. Like, they have private jets and all that stuff. It's just disgusting, bro. It's just, uh, it makes me sick, bro. It's just shocking. I can't stand make church, right? And, like, if you died of cancer, they'd be like, well, you died of cancer because your faith wasn't strong enough to heal it. Because by his stripes you were healed. Like, so Jesus whipped by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. So, we had people to die of cancer. We weren't like, oh, you know, they died of cancer. We were like, yeah, the faith wasn't strong enough to heal it. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy. You know what I mean? I was a bit like, mm, okay, all right. That's a bit, you know, it's a bit interesting. Excuse for... Ticket, okay. 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 Okay.
Shake it. Shake it. What's up? What's that? Garlic. This must be like a garlic town. They're selling heaps of garlic, Bob. So dried fish is expensive now. Big city, and this is the only way into this city, or not? Yeah, this is like a one lane highway into a city. Yeah, you know? it can't be too big a city to have just a one lane highway in. Jessica, counter flowing. You have a combustion engine, have bro. I put it in one, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, this is so scary. Yeah. What one. if I went, uh, okay, like, Roll now? backwards? Yeah. Well, you break one. Wow. This is You've been up steep in this level. Yeah, but I never. Okay, good day. So look, if you if you if you need to go faster, or you need to go uphill, you drop a gear. You always drop a gear, right? Yeah, but then if you're, when you're in flat, you just not gonna work. Well, work. yeah. If I needed to go fast, I'd stay in a lower gear. But you can stay too low, you can burn the clutch out. But really, yeah, you go drop a gear. Like up a hill, you drop a gear. You can probably drop a gear. So let's just drop one. So I said, Jessica, maybe we get married here. We really like the city. Maybe we get married in the backyard. I'll think about it. S T U N N I N G. I spelled it wrong. Why do you go out before I even spell it? I spell it the right way. How dare you do some spelling? Check it out. Yeah, I should not do that because you can barely spell sometimes you get it. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, that's not how you spell stunning. I'll be an exam and I'll fail. I'm just like, my spelling sucks, bro. It sucks. It's terrible. It's just like, people like, bro, see this Lexi? You run a company, you can only spell. I can, I can spell with, I can spell, but uh, with a computer, I can spell. All my stuff's online. So, I'm lucky. I'm lucky, bro. Check it out. Oh, Koreans, brother. This guy, check the view out, bro. We're obviously not. We're obviously not past this guy, bro. This is a blind corner. It's got to wait. Got to wait for a homeboy. Check out all the Jimmys. They're very colourful, aren't they? So this, I think this is the town. We're in Baguio now. We're in the town. Cinnamon Oh, I love me some cinnamon.
on that as well. Like if we get servants, um, well, I shouldn't say servants, if we get hired help, right? If to cook and clean, it's gonna be like disabled six-year-old ladies, because so you can't flirt with them. She goes, I don't want anyone but a disabled six-year-old lady cooking for my husband. And I was like, and I'll still bang them, right? <laughs> Just joking, brother. Just joking. Break the internet. YouTube gets so angry, mate. Yeah. I'm with you. I got scolded by a ladyboy yesterday. Depends. Is it kid? Is the ladyboy kid? <laughs> I'm just joking, mate. I'm just teasing her. Of course you did, bro. Of course you did, bro. It goes out no saying, bro. No what? No spitting. No spitting, bro. What? Pull your hand, botanical, and botanical. You should go up there and turn around. Oh, look at the ISIS. The ISIS. What, in the car or? No, you're sitting there. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant in the car. We're so near this place then. Car in 1928. And it's still on the road, brother. Ita. Oh, this has got a ton of runs. These guys are Ita. Spears, brother. Some spears, brother. So we've taken the wrong turn. We're in like some crevice mountain place. Go, go up, go up. You can go around. You, you need to turn back here. Well, oh, see that car is there. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're in some took the wrong turn. Just back here. to Bambi. Is it Bambi Sanctuary we're staying or not? Just stay here at night, love. So, we're going to beg you. Monsters. You're the monster. Oh, rude. You don't need a monster, you're there. Driver. Rude. Rude. 
who don't know how to drive who got not. apprehended apprehended wow. he's like so he's like he's like look mate give me your license I was like nah he's like, he's nah, like I'm not gonna take it sir I promise I'm not gonna not really. confiscate it, sir. Yeah, because I was like, I'm not, I'm not giving him my license. See, look, look what he did. If there's a policeman there, he just took a U-turn all around that zebra crossing. That's not allowed. Yes, that's what I did. I didn't but know. There's no. Police. There was no, no one on it. Like, so I took a U-turn on a zebra crossing, but I didn't know there was there was no one on the, U, the zebra crossing. Yeah, I know. So. But if it's a city love, you, there's police people. You don't do that. If you, you can do it in a place like that, no one's there. I never even heard of it, bro. I never even, I, honestly, that was in any of my things in Australia. Oh wow! Look at the size of that dog. Driving. Yeah, that's bloody good advice considering the hills, mate. You got the view or not? Kind of. Dude, that is unreal. Look at that view, mate. Yeah. yeah. So bad guy was the most cosmopolitan city in the world, mate. It's like literally, it's like a snake up the mountains, winds and winds and winds. What's uh, um, Please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our blogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.